Let's go talk about one league that's filled with uh, our Polish lads. Well, not not as much anymore. The, the Bundesliga. German Bundesliga, yeah. And the, and the biggest headline coming out of Germany is that Schalke have sacked their fifth manager. <laughs> <That's a> fucking <laughs> tire fire. <laughs> It's an absolute tire fire, this club. I, I don't think I've ever seen a club fall from grace more it's, heavily. Like sorry. After, after it's sacking actually Christian just Gross, sad. Schalke will play under more coaches this season than league opponent Freiburg since 1991. All, all I'm going to say is everyone that plays FIFA or like football manager, when next year when Schalke is down, you got to just bring them back up. They're minus like, they, they need help. <laughs> They well, need they've help. They've scored 16 goals all season. <laughs> it's I, I like what? Three of them were in this one is a game. Team that Hoppy. Is, used to be in Europe and everything. What happened? Okay. What happened? So COVID it's happened. Management. No, it's, it's poor management. Yeah. Oh, this this a doesn't happen. This doesn't happen in one year. This is this is years in the making of letting players go, not bringing in right recruitment, not signing the right players, not having good youth systems coming in, letting go young players. This does not happen overnight. Yeah. A, t- a team of Schalke's size and, and, and once upon a time of quality doesn't have nine points after well, 23 I, I, matches. I will so add on easy. that COVID probably didn't help because they couldn't bring in players. They lost well, so many fi- months, well, so much seven money. Seven years ago, they were in the yeah. Champions League or something sort of like that. But like yeah, beginning of January was. I remember they actually yeah. won one game, then they didn't win another. Until like, yeah. was it late last yeah. year or early this year they finally won well, a game? Well, Liam, yeah. Liam, you do have a kind of a point as well. I mean... Last season they finished twelfth. The year before that, fourteenth. Uh, it's, it's like they finished second one year. They've been like ever since then. It's been going down yeah. significantly. Yeah. Like when they were yeah. when they Lucas, were in the Lucas. Champions League, they were relying Lucas. on Klasian Huntelaar, who was in, already in his thirties. Who was the next player coming through? That Sorry, twenty seven eighteen season they finished second. The next yeah. season they finished fourteenth. So yeah. something. Well, <laughs> so, yeah. well, see, not well, to draw well, like dramatic. Sorry, I just want to make my point. Look, look at Celtic. About that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, that second-place finish, they had a Tedesco as manager, who, he was a defensive manager, mm-hmm. but it's all good being a defensive manager if you're scoring goals. They stopped scoring goals, and they weren't as good defensively the next season. And it just mm-hmm. kept yeah. unspiraling as the season went on. Actually, they before haven't it, found a fix then, to that problem. Players keep on living, leaving for free. Uh, that's bad on them for losing high-value players for no money. Not to draw like dramatic comparison, but look at Celtic. I mean, so we went four years, you know, winning trebles. We relied on the same players today as we did then, and then clearly it's all fallen apart in dramatic fashion. It happens over time, you know. Yes, Schalke you finished second and they were great, but you had to have that, that next player coming through, next player coming through. Otherwise, when that player at the top's gone, well, now we're falling because there's no one below him kind of thing. You got to build. You can't just keep relying on the same thing over and over yeah. and over again. Hope it works. You know, Eventually, anyways, it's not. Let's talk about a big match. I, I, I was going to say, I, I do kind of feel bad for laughing because, you know, the supporters are crying inside. Yeah. So. Man, that, oh, I didn't realize it was the whole that. sporting staff that was sacked whole. Yeah. yeah it's, it's football. Um, let's talk about the Leipzig versus Gladbach game because this was a huge, huge result. Um, it was 2-0 Borussia Mönchengladbach uh, until Leipzig woke up and said, hey, we want to win this game and remain in the title race. They come back to win 3-2. I believe it was the 92nd minute they won it. Absolute scenes. It means nothing, though, because Bayern Munich went 5-1 over Köln. Mm-hmm. Mr. Lewandowski. Expected. I, I think this what happened in the Bundesliga goals. this week was that everyone that was expected to win won, almost. Oh, I wouldn't think Except so. Except for Leverkusen. Oh, what? Lucas has something to say. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so you know how Liam has been saying Jane Sancho's overrated, or he's he thinks no. English people See, you overrate take them. Words yeah, English media overhypes their young talent, i.e. Jane Sancho was the top of that list. But well, continue with your well what I I disagree with that point specifically because the media seems to we seem seem to have uh, thrown him under the bus constantly in the beginning of the season when he wasn't performing to the best of his abilities during a time when Dortmund weren't p- performing well either. But if we look at this, 20 years old, Jaden Sancho, the youngest player to reach 50 Bundesliga assists. He's right, you know, he's right. You're, and, you're dumb up good. there. And then there's something else I, on this here I want to read. Yeah, um, so someone commented this here. So these are some players who reached 50 assists. De Bruyne, he reached 50 assists when he was 24. Ronaldo, 24. Messi, 23. Suarez, 23. 
Neymar, 23. Mueller, 23. Ozil, 22. Fabregas, 22. Youngest in the Premier League ever. Sancho is doing yes, this at 20 good. years old, and he's also scoring a bunch of goals. And also, Sancho is I, a guy that should have more assists because I've seen him play so many times where he makes a great play, and Dortmund don't score it in the past few years. I 100% agree. He's a great player. I'm not ever taking that away from from you or from him. Or he's a fantastic Look, player. I just don't think be... he's worth the 100 million price tag people are throwing. Oh, around. Well, I mean, he I... will be worth it when he's getting giving his you know through balls to Rashford for United. That's what? <laughs> Back to the just thing. ignore this. Just ignore this man, Lucas. <laughs> no, but like, I think people are always talk about Mbappe and Halan in this one category. But I've always thought Sancho should be in that area too, or should be considered. Well, yeah, Lucas, I'm kind of the same way with Jao Felix as well. Like, how? Why is he not in the conversation? And then I, I see people talking about like other players better than Sancho, and. <clears throat> I'm just so confused how people can neglect Jane Sancho. What? Because he plays in the Bundesliga? Halan plays in the Bundesliga too. And uh, Holland and Sancho, Holland Holland and Sancho should just Holland, be like a. Go ahead, Holland! Sancho and Holland should just be like like a pair, like a combo. You gotta buy both. Yeah, well, yeah sure, I'll <laughs> take both. Okay. Yeah, sure, I'll take <laughs> <take laughs> <take laughs> <take laughs> you out pretty much. Well, <laughs> But yes, uh, Bayern Munich do win 5-1. Lewandowski scores two goals. That puts Bayern Munich on 52 points, top of the Bundesliga, but only two points behind is Leipzig after that victory against Gladbach on 50 points, 23 matches played both. There's a good title race happening in the Bundesliga yeah. between those two teams. And I love Can it. Can Dortmund get into top four? Just They're currently three points back. I love the fact that Wolfsburg is just quietly sitting in third right now. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. like, yo, we're, we're here, guys. We we're, we exist still. Until, like, Frankfurt's up in fourth. <laughs> yeah. Leverkusen's been shocking recently. Yeah, They're they down have. to sixth now. Gladbach's been bad. Leverkusen, yeah. Uh, yeah. Europa League as well. Like, it's what happened to them, right? Yeah. They were, they were in that race, and they just <clears throat> fell, they fell, fell off apart. the... I yeah. fall apart. Okay, post Malone. Mm-hmm. 